Hi, my name is Megan Amber, and I am a coffeeholic. So if there was a game between Cal and Berkeley, who would win? Okay, so the title of this video is pretty self-explanatory. Um, if you don't know what Phil's is, that probably means you're not from this country. So in a nutshell, Phil's is a coffee shop. So it's like Starbucks, except the difference is that Phil's actually tastes good. And if you're from NorCal and you don't know what Phil's is, can you even call yourself a local Bay Area native? So my first ever time trying fills was actually in South San Francisco. And as soon as I had my first sip of fills, I was hooked. So there actually used to be a fills on Chatuck and I used to do work there all the time, but then it closed down. So I guess I don't do work now. So yeah, besides riding boats, solving world hunger, solving the global warming crisis. Phil's is one of the very few things that I feel truly passionate about. So yeah, I thought it would be fun to make this video because I probably know more about Phil's than my major at Berkeley. And the reason why I like Phil's so much, other than that it tastes delectable, is the feeling that you get after taking a sip. After you take a sip of the coffee, the first thing you feel is, I'm no longer a weak bitch. I have the energy to go out and conquer my day. I have the energy to do my problem sets, get at least average on my midterms, catch the 51B, make it to office hours. Actually, no, I don't go to office hours. Make it to class if I'm in the area. Make this YouTube video. Maybe possibly take out the trash. And if you've ever been to a Phil's, um, it's a little bit intimidating when you go inside because it's so hipster and everyone in there looks so cool and there's not really any clear directions in the store when you walk in. JK, there are, lol. So I remember my very first time going to Phil's, I wasn't sure, am I supposed to order first and then pay? Or which barista am I supposed to go to? So, who would be more credible to give you Phil's advice than a Phil's coffeeholic? So the first thing you have to do is walk to the Phil's location, or you can take other modes of transportation such as cars, buses, or boats. So once you're in the Phil's, you walk in and you'll see a line in front of the bar of baristas. So you get in line. You think about what you want to order, which I'll go over in a second. And then once you have that idea in your mind, you go up to the barista and then you tell them your order. After you finish telling the barista your order, you go and pay for it. And then later on, after you pay, you go back and pick up your drink. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure it's perfect. I know. Super complicated. But here's where it starts getting really technical. First thing I wanted to cover were the sizes of the drinks. Phil's offers three sizes. The first one is the small. The small is like, okay, I have a little bit of work to do, maybe I have a quiz, maybe half a problem set I haven't finished, so I'll, I'll get the small size. The medium is like, well, we're getting a little bit more serious, I have a full problem set to finish, I have a midterm, it's not a serious midterm, but it's something that I have to study for, maybe half a day in main stacks worth studying for. So this is the medium size, and the large size is Give me an aneurysm and send me to the hospital right now because I've had too much caffeine. All right, so now that we've got sizes covered, the next thing we have to cover is cream and sugar. So in order to sound like a true Phil's know-it-all, like I've been to Phil's many times sounding kind of order. You tell them, hi, I would like ice ecstatic 
medium medium. What medium medium means is medium cream, medium sugar. Obviously you could do light cream, light sugar, or you could do sweet and creamy, which is the highest level of cream and sugar. You could also mix it up. Say you want light sweet, but you want extra creamy. You can also do that. You should do whatever floats your boat. Personally, I always get my drinks medium medium. Here's another really cool thing about fills. They don't charge you extra for milk substitution. So for all you Asian degenerates out there who have a repeat of World War II every time you have dairy, this is like holy grail for you because you can get oat milk, soy milk, almond milk, any kind of nut milk you want substituted for no extra cost. Now each type of drink on the Phil's menu is associated with the weather. It all depends on the weather. That's the key thing. So say that it's cold and misty outside, there's a slight chance of rain, there's cloudy overhead, you want to go for the mocha tesora medium medium hot. Now say the weather outside is nice and light, like birds are chirping, possibility of rainbows in the sky, there's butterflies, you should go with either the ice ecstatic medium medium which is like the basic classic fills drink or you could go with the mint mojito sweet and creamy now say it's midterm season you've got those that chemistry midterm coming up maybe by the head gordons you have that quantum mechanics midterm coming up the day after you need to get serious you need to order the greater alarm light sweet light creamy because schrodinger's equation won't make sense on a bloated stomach now say you're in the mood for a little extracurricular writing journaling bulleting whatever you do um meditating actually you don't drink coffee before you meditate but say you want to have like a chill day to do your work get the julie's ultimate medium medium here's another tip Phil's also is trying to promote saving the environment. So if you bring your own personal cup, so like this one, and you ask them to fill it up, instead of them giving you your coffee drink in their own cup, then you get a dollar off your purchase. So a medium size cup is 460. But if I ask for my drink in this cup, it's 360. Here's another pro tip that you won't find in the books. It also depends on the barista, so who's making your drink. No offense, this is not racist at all, but all the Asian girls at the Phil's location at college do not make good drinks. I have had to send the drinks back because they are too watery. So if you're on the college Phil's location and there's an Asian girl about to make your drink, tell the person behind you to go ahead because you're still deciding on your order. All right, so... Phil's location on college has specialty drinks where they, I guess, experiment with different drinks before the rest of the Phil's locations sell the same ones. So the first experimental drink I wanted to talk about is called Cafe Rosé. So it's basically rose coffee. And I know this sounds disgusting, but it's actually delectable. It's fun. It's flirty. I would get it if you want to have fun. It's just overall a fun drink. Another experimental drink that they have is called, I think it's matcha mojito. So if you like the flavor of matcha, you'll like it. Or if you don't like matcha and you hate yourself, then I guess get it. I also recommend that drink too if you want more of a gentler climb. All right, so if you're a Phil's beginner, this is the advice that I give to you. First, start off with the classic Phil's drink, ice ecstatic, medium, medium, and see how it is. And the next time you go, Take it a step up. Get the mint mojito sweet and creamy. Wow, I just realized this is my first ever how-to video. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below what you want to learn that I maybe know about next. Other than that, I hope you guys are doing well. I have, besides drinking fills, I've just been trolling around these days. So typical Megan things. Honestly, this is publishable level content. Hashtag nature, hashtag PubMed, hashtag NHIB.CL something B.
that you can only access through Berkeley proxy. 